Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, uh, we just got a data download on the global side of the game a few hours ago. So, of course, in this video, we're going to be going through everything together. Now, I want to say this one is a little bit more exciting than your average data download because it is related to the upcoming 7th anniversary celebration. So, with all that said, let's jump right into it. First things first, I want to give a big shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all these assets. If you guys aren't already following him, then definitely go ahead and do so. And uh, with that said, let's scroll down a little bit here and start with the free-to-play Goku and Vegeta, which is going to be the login unit for this year's anniversary. We got the Goku and the Vegeta with the Goku holding the 7 star Dragon Ball. You can argue that this is still kind of a Vegeta shaft because even though he is in the art this time, he's still not allowed to hold the Dragon Ball. But anyways, cool unit. We'll talk about what they do a little bit later in the video. And uh, from there we have some assets related to the upcoming 41st World Tournament which is starting on July 1st. So this is the token awakening for the AGL Kid Pan. And then this uh, Teen Goten is the reward unit for this tournament. And from there we have the awakening for the giant form Anin. So there's the TUR and there is the uh, giant Anin as well. And after that, there are some countdown images slash tip images for the anniversary, so we have seven days to the anniversary, uh, six days, five days, four days, and then of course three days, two days, and uh, one day. And we'll start seeing these, uh, I guess, starting on the 30, the 30th, maybe July 1st. Soon, we'll start seeing these very, very soon. So look forward to that. And then uh, from there, there are some missions for part one of the anniversary. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of them, but you guys can take a look if you want. Uh, pretty standard stuff like clear a mission X number of times, Z awaken, Doken awaken, uh, clear stages, all that stuff, right? And after that, we have some tickets. So this is the special 77 summon ticket, which we can collect starting from part one of the anniversary until part three. And once we collect all the tickets, we can perform a free multi for three guaranteed LRs, which is pretty exciting. So I will definitely be breaking that down, like how you can get all the tickets in a separate video. And we also have the rainbow tons of thanks tickets, which will be available through missions throughout the anniversary. And these can be used in uh, part two or starting with part two of the anniversary on the Dual Dual Confess banners as well as the part two banner. So yeah, we'll talk about those later on too. Okay, so after that, we have the special seventh anniversary coin, which can be used in the Baba Shop to exchange for, you know, Kai's uh, skill orbs, or rather uh, potential orbs, uh, Zenny, stuff like that. And we also, ha oh, also of course, previous anniversary units and special units and uh, things of that nature, right? And after that, we have a bunch of non-translated assets. So I believe uh, that does it for all of the 7th anniversary stuff. It's basically just the countdown related things. If you're wondering where, you know, the Dual Dokkan Fest LRs are or, you know, anything like that. Um, they're coming in a separate data download. This is just like the countdown stuff once again. So. After that, we have a bunch of untranslated assets, which means that these are not ready for release. They're just adding them to the data, uh, the database on global to get them ready for release in the future. So we probably won't see these things until, I guess, after the anniversary, right? So we have the Extreme Z Awakening assets for the AGL Terrorless, which I am very much looking forward to. Uh, yeah, some more EZA Turtless assets, and then those are the, uh, you know, Extreme Z Awakening medals, of course. Uh, we have the Dokkan Fest Raditz assets. There is his SSR, 
and then the TUR. This guy is a very polarizing unit. Maybe that might be the right term. I'm not really sure. Most people don't like him. <laughs> Most people really don't like this unit. Uh, I'm not going to get into too much detail here, but um, his kit is kind of weird. And uh, he's probably one of the worst new Dokkan Fest units we've received in a while. But yeah, that will be for a separate video. We'll talk about that later. There's the Raditz and his side unit, which is the STR Nappa. And this Nappa is arguably better, or maybe not even arguable for some people, but he seems to be getting a lot more love than the Raditz. And that's for sure. And he's the side unit, the non Dokkan Fest unit on the banner. And after that, we have the Token Awakening Medal for the Raditz uh, Token Event. We have this uh, Kid Vegeta with Extreme Z Awakening Medals. We have uh, Extreme Z Awakening Medals for the Free to Play Tarble, and also the Free to Play Gotenks. Uh, I think it's AGL Tarbo, Tarb, Tarbo, 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 and uh, Int Gotenks. Or maybe it's a different type. Either way, Go Tanks and Tarable Extreme Z Awakening medals, and then some untranslated stages. I'm assuming um, one of them is for the Dokkan event for Raditz, and then oh, actually they're probably for the like stages to get the Extreme Z Awakening medals for these guys. Maybe, maybe we'll see. Um, and also some more stages right there. Actually, this should be for the Extreme Z Awakening Medal, so what would this be for? I, I can't say for sure, to be honest. Um, but yeah, untranslated stages, that's all you need to know right now. And then we also have, uh, oh, some Peton Battle related things. So here is, I think, a little, uh, binder cover with the Goku Black. And then we have the, uh, set 6 slash 7, uh, pack little icon there and then we have a bunch of Peton battle cards so uh, there's a lot of them I'm not gonna scroll through every single one but you guys uh, can get a quick look here I uh, got the Vegito blue we got Rose Mai uh, blue Vegeta you know Zamasu uh, father son Gallic gun more Mai Rose and Zamasu uh, some Gokus, some Goku Blacks, more Zamasus, basically like mostly Future Saga related from what I can see in this set. Um, and then there's a Raditz, or sorry, a uh, Turles as well. And then we have some new scripted event assets, a couple of Raditz there from, uh, you would assume, the Dokkan event. And then there's the Kid Vegeta, a couple of King Vegetas. A couple of World Tournament promo banners for, you know, the upcoming World Tournament, which will be starting once again on July 1st for um, the Countdown Celebration. And then we have another one for the Guaranteed uh, SSR banner as well, a promo banner. And also, we have this green Dragonstone thing. Now, if I remember correctly, this was available when... Was it the beginner's pack got refreshed or something like that? But either way, um, I remember buying this on Global a while ago, so I'm not 100% sure why it's making a reappearance. Are we going to be able to buy a second one during the anniversary? Uh, I can't say for sure. So that's my bad. I apologize for that. But yeah, this was a Dragonstone you could buy, I remember, to exchange for one of five LRs. It was like tech... Broly, or Kalinka Leafla, or Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku. Uh, who else was in there? I think UI Goku might have been in that selection too. And somebody else, like... Uh, Nappa and Raditz, no, Raditz. Nappa and Vegeta, or something like that. You know, it was like five LRs, they were all really solid. And I remember distinctly making a video talking about which one to pick. Or maybe I'm remembering wrong. I'm getting old, guys. I'm getting old. Okay, so maybe my memory is not serving me as well as, as it used to. But uh, <laughs> the point is, this stone is for a selection of 5 LRs. It is 
pay to play only, you have to buy it. So maybe, hopefully, they uh, allow us to buy a second one, but I can't say for sure. Um, I mean, based on the description here, it says special dragonstone he acquired when purchasing a certain pack can be used uh, at Baba's shop. If not used, will be deleted 180 days after being claimed. So, yeah, I don't know if I, like they're they're refreshing the pack or it's just a reminder <laughs> or something like that. But there's the stone. We're spending too much time on it. Let's move on to. Uh, a My Data category banner. So this is for the Dokkan Scout campaign, which is starting, I believe, on the 20... Actually, later today. I think it's starting later today. And you can uh, get your own special code, which you can send to people. And then if they use your code and complete missions, then you both get Dragon Stones, which is pretty cool. And then we have this um, My Data banner for the uh, uh, Extreme Z Awakening for Turtles, of course. And we have some Dokkan Scout missions there. And I think they're all the same, honestly. It's just, you know, based on like how many players you get to actually use your code and, you know, complete the missions. And uh, that is essentially it. We do have a user here asking no A or B tickets. And like I said before, that is for a separate data download down the line once we get closer to the release of the. Uh, you know, to World Dokkan Fest LRs, there will be A and B tickets. Trust me, it's global. It's an anniversary. We're getting tickets for summoning on the banners, as we always do, right? So, um, that does it for the data download, guys. A little bit longer than your usual update, but there's, you know, more assets than normal. And uh, as I said, before we go, we're gonna quickly go over the details for this uh, free-to-play login unit, the Goku and the Vegeta. And to do that, we're gonna pop over to the Dokkan Wiki, new Dokkan Wiki website, I guess. Um, it's just dokkan.wiki, that's the website. Um, I'm not 100% sure who created this website, but uh, someone sent me the link to this, and I actually kinda like it because it provides a little bit more information than the you know, prevalent or the old Dokkan Wiki. Um, as you can see, you can play the animation here if you click animation. Oh, let me just uh, scroll, rather zoom in a little bit here. You can play animation, you can see the sprite for the character. It also shows you the best linking partners for that unit. Um, also some more details here about like their stats at various hidden potential investments. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, really good website. Go check it out, dokkan.wiki. And going over the details now for this unit, it's a Spirited Challenge, Goku and Vegeta, Leader Skill, Pure Saiyans, Category Key plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 77%, Passive is... Oh, I also like this about the Passive. It's uh, broken down into like the various buffs, which makes it easier to actually understand um, what the Passive is, because sometimes if you just like have all the text together, it can get confusing, so they actually like listed it as bullet points, which is... Really helpful, in my opinion. So passive, attack and defense, plus 77%. And then key plus one, up to key plus seven, plus an additional attack and defense, plus uh, 11%, up to 77%. With each turn passed from the start of battle, plus an additional attack, plus 77%, starting from the seventh turn, and then performs a critical hit with seven or more key spheres obtained. And super attack, supreme damage, and raises attack and defense for 7 turns. And then, uh, links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Experienced Fighters, Saiyan Lineage, Kamehameha, Shocking Speed, and Prepare for Battle. And you can also toggle this Max Link option to see what the links do when they're fully maxed out, level 10. And the categories are Pure Saiyans, Kamehameha, and Joined Forces. And here's a list of their best linking partners. Uh, like the, you know, LR Gogeta, LR Vegito, um, and so on and so forth. So, um, there you go, guys. That is the free-to-play Goku and Vegeta. Not really a unit that you would necessarily uh, use for, like, a serious run at, like, Super Battle Road or anything like that, but they're pretty decent for a very easy-to-obtain, very easy-to-rainbow free-to-play unit. And uh, it's just like a cool novelty thing to have, like a collection piece, right? So 
that's gonna do it for today's video guys um thank you so much for watching big shout out once again to my boy proton 10 mg for posting all the assets as he always does and um that's all i gotta say i'll see you guys in the next video as always if you liked this video then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out